everyone, this is Zuleika from Edureka. We're all very proud of how much technology has advanced over the recent years. But what if I tell you that our ancestors were developing technologies in the past that scientists are still trying to figure out? With this in mind, in today's video, I'm going to list down 10 most impressive technologies that were lost over time. At number 10, we have the Antikythera mechanism. Divers found this artifact off the coast of Greek island of Antikythera in 1900 while looking into a shipwreck. Now, what's really special about this artifact is that it's actually an ancient analog computer created in 100 BC. Now, this device contains a lot of gears, dials and cranks and it is considered to be the world's oldest calculator. Now, for years, scientists were unable to figure out the purpose of this device but recent theories suggest that it can be used to chart the positions of the planet, the sun and the moon. It is currently the only ancient discovery of this kind. What baffles me the most is how such a sophisticated machine was developed so many years ago. Now moving on to number 9, we have Stanley Mayo's water fuel car. Mayo invented a car that ran on water instead of conventional fossil fuels like gasoline. The engine system was fitted with a fuel cell that was able to split water into its components, which is hydrogen and oxygen. The burnt hydrogen was the fuel source used to generate necessary energy to power the car. Now, let me tell you an interesting fact about this car. This car was able to travel from New York to Los Angeles on 22 gallons of water. Mayo was offered a billion dollars to hand over the rights and patents of this technology. But he declined the offer and this refusal cost him his life. He was found dead of uranium poisoning. Apparently, he was too much of a financial threat to the ruling elite's oil industry. Guys, with such energetic sustainability, Mayer's invention could have made a revolutionary contribution to our planet's environment and economy. Now, the next technology that I'm going to talk about is going to sound like a science fiction movie plot. I'm talking about the chronovisor. Now, Pellegrino Ernetti was a Roman Catholic priest known for being an excellent exorcist in Venice, Italy. In 1950s, Ernetti claimed to have invented a time machine called the Chronovisor. Now, this machine allowed a person to view events from the past. The Chronovisor was allegedly a cabinet with a series of controls that could decode past electromagnetic radiations. Ernetti said that he had seen and photographed Christ's crucifixion but later on, he confessed that he didn't actually witness the event. But guys, let me tell you that before Annette's death, a fellow priest said that he learned the Vatican's had destroyed a functional chronovisor and that Annette's confession was false just to hide the technology from ungodly people. So guys, what do you believe about this technology? Do you think a time machine was actually created or do you guys think that this was just a bunch of lies? Now, moving on, at number 7, we have Ogle's carburetor. Auto mechanic Tom Ogle unveiled a device that allegedly increased auto fuel efficiency to over 42 kilometers per liter. Now, Ogle demonstrated his model to reporters by driving 322 kilometers on just 7.5 liters of gas. Now, oil companies reportedly offered million dollars to Ogle so that he would never build another such machine. But Ogle refused the offer since he wanted to make his own cars and sell them. But unfortunately, Ogle was shot by an unidentified assailant in 1981 before suspiciously dying of an accidental overdose later that same year. At number 6, we have Sleuth's digital coding system. Jan Sleuth was a Dutch electronics technician known for developing a lossless data compression technique that would compress a 10 gigabyte movie down to only 8 kilobytes of data without sacrificing its quality. Now guys, this is something that current technology isn't even near achieving. Although many doubted this technique, a lot of people were interested in investing and claimed that the coding system had a lot of potential. But sadly, Sloot died just a day before signing a deal with Philips and the floppy disk where his coding system was written went missing. Do you guys believe that's a coincidence or was it actually planned? Let me know in the comments. Now moving on to number 5, we have Victor Schauberger's Repulsion, also known as a Flying Saucer. Now during World War II, Victor Schauberger interned in a Nazi concentration camp and he was allegedly forced to work on a flying disc project. Victor's saucer models incorporated a vortex in which air entered at the top and flowed right through the center of the saucer. 
Now, a hurricane or a tornado are examples of the kind of vortex upon which Schauberger's ideas are based. It is unknown if the project was completed or if the saucers actually flew in Germany, but coincidentally, US pilots reported strange flying this over Germany just prior to the war's end. So guys, after the Second World War, Schauberger was detained by the US intelligence agents and kept in custody for nine months. They confiscated all of his documents and prototypes and interrogated him to get his whereabouts during the war. And who knows, maybe even the documentations of his inventions were taken away from him. Invented by an amateur scientist named Maurice Ward in 1980s, starlight is a material that could supposedly tolerate a nuclear blast. Now, in several demonstrations to the press, eggs protected with a starlight coating remained raw in the 12,000 degree Celsius flame of a blowtorch. And not only that, it could even survive blasts that are 75 times the strength of Hiroshima bomb. Now, obviously, organizations like NASA were very interested in getting hold of this material. But Maurice refused to reveal how he made it because he didn't want other people to profit off of his invention. Now, sadly, he died in 2011 and his secret died along with him. Next in line is the cloud buster. Now, this is a device which was invented by Austrian psychoanalyst William Rhee during the 1950s, which was able to produce rain. Now, the machine would point several water-powered metal tubes at the sky, which would then manipulate what Rhee called the orgone energy in order to create rain. Now, allegedly, orgone energy is a cosmic life force that controls the atmosphere. So, guys, the machine was proven to work when Rhee brought rain to a farm in 1953. But as soon as the FDA saw that the machine actually works, they immediately destroyed all of William's work. They also imprisoned him in the fear that a lot of danger would come with men being able to manipulate the climate. Moving ahead, at number two, we have Tesla's death ray. This is also known as the Teleforce, which was a charged particle beam weapon created by Nikola Tesla in 1930s. Now, Tesla claimed that his death ray was capable enough to bring down 10,000 enemy airplanes at a distance of 300 plus kilometers. He reportedly carried out tests of the weapon, but there is no strict evidence demonstrating the weapon. Now, several world powers were interested in his technology, but Tesla refused to provide documentation because he feared that his technology might land in the wrong hands. He meant to create it as a protective weapon against wars. It is said that all the documentation of the death ray disappeared immediately after Tesla's death in 1943. Moving on to our last technology is the Tesla's tower. I'm sure we can save some time by not having to say much about who Nikola Tesla was or what he achieved throughout his life. Let me tell you a quick fact about Nikola Tesla. He is also known as the man who invented the 20th century. Now, for those of you who don't know much about him, he was a man who discovered alternating current in addition to the Tesla's coil, radio transmitters, fluorescent lamps and what not. Now, coming to the Tesla's tower, it was a project built for providing free wireless electricity to the whole world. In 1905, with financial aid of J.P. Morgan, Tesla began working on the Wardenclyffe Tower, which was a model that aimed to use both the ionosphere above and the entire planet below as electrical conductors. Now, we are not quite sure about why Tesla failed or what happened, but there are several conspiracy theories about this. I've heard theories ranging from evil corporations stepping in to ensure that he wouldn't provide free electricity to the people. I've also heard that American government shutting him down and stealing his secrets. Apart from that, it was said that he ran out of financial aids because J.P. Morgan withdrew all of his financial aids when he learned that he's not going to acquire any profits from the project. But guys, it is quite definite that this technology would have completely changed the world. So if you are a science geek who is looking to master any of the trending technologies, please leave your email ID along with the technology that you're interested in in the comment section and we'll get back to you with the course details at the earliest. So guys, that's it for today's video. We'll be coming up with more interesting topics like these. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching and have a great day. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!